Hello students, welcome back. Moving on to the next topic of numerical analysis. Today's class is all about relation between different types of operators. In today's class, our primary focus is on finding what is the relationship between the shift operator, forward difference operator and backward difference operator. So let's get started. Now before we proceed, let us just recall what are these three operators. Sabse pehla hai amara shift operator. Iska kya function hota hai? Jo bhi position hogi value ki, us position se usko shift kar dega wo ugly position pe. And how do we define it? It is defined as, first it is denoted by E. And how it is defined? E f x is equal to f x plus h. That is, it is going to shift the value of the function from the position x to x plus h. Next comes your two operators, forward difference operator and backward difference operator. Forward is denoted by delta or backward com denote karte hain by inverse delta, jise hum nabla bhi bolte hain. Aur is tarah se, ye jo dono operators, jab kisi function fx mein apply hote hain, they define the function in this manner. And what is h here? h is the interval of difference, that is, it is the constant difference between two consecutive values of x. So let us now move on to the different types of relations between these operators. Our first relation is between the shift operator E and the forward difference operator delta. That is, delta equals E minus 1. Jise hum dusre tarike se kaise lik sakte hain? E is equal to delta plus 1. Now let us try to prove this. By the definition of delta, we know that delta fx, what is it equal to? This is equal to f x plus h minus f x. This is our relation. Also, we know that e of f x, what is this equal to? This is equal to f x plus h. So, in place of this f x plus h, what we can write? We can write this as e of f x minus f x. Taking f x outside. What we get inside the bracket is e minus 1 fx. And this proves our result. That is delta equals, delta is equivalent to e minus 1. Or we can also write this thing as e equals 1 plus delta or delta plus 1. So this is how we have proved our first property. Our next property is e inverse equals 1 minus nabla. जैसे हम और कैसे लिख सकते हैं, nabla equals 1 minus 1 upon e. This can also be proved easily. Now how we define our backward difference operator? It is nabla fx equals fx minus fx minus h. Okay. Now similar to the previous result, we have seen that e inverse fx is equal to fx minus h. So this is going to be equal to fx minus fx minus h can be written as e inverse f of x. Now we are going to take fx outside and what remains inside is 1 minus e inverse fx. And this proves our result that inverse delta or backward difference operator is equal to 1 minus e inverse. Moving on to our third relation, we have Shift operator into backward difference operator that is E into nabla equals nabla times E and which is equal to delta which is equal to forward difference operator. Let us write E nabla fx this value is equal to E and what is nabla fx equal to? When we apply backward difference operator to the function fx this value becomes fx minus f x minus h. Alright. Now when we are going to open up the brackets, this value is going to be equal to e of fx minus e of f x minus h. And we know that whenever a shift operator is applied to the function, it is going to shift its value to the next position that is x plus h. And similarly, f x minus h this value is going to be equal to f x only because f x minus h plus h that gives you 
f x and what is this value equal to this value is the value for forward difference operator del f x this is the expression also this is going to be the expression of inverse delta f x plus h yes or no what is this value going to be equal to inverse delta f x plus h is equal to f x plus h minus f x which in turn is equal to nabla and f x plus h can also be written as e f of x yes or no because e f x is equal to f x plus h so we have written this particular value in this form and this proves our result that e nabla is equal to backward difference operator into e which is actually equal to the forward difference operator delta so this is how we can prove our relation it's very simple you must be clear what is the expression for which particular operator that you are going to use if you go step by step it's a very simple and easy process in the same way we can prove our next property that is e delta is equal to delta e you don't have to do anything new here you just have to write the expressions start with the left hand side and easily you will go to the you will find the right hand side and this expression is going to be proved this way so let us now revise the first one is your e is equal to delta plus 1 or 1 plus delta the second property is e inverse is equal to 1 minus nabla third property is e nabla is equal to nabla e which in turn is equal to delta and the fourth property is e delta is equal to delta e now let us see how we can use these properties to prove some relations we have the question prove the following results the first one is 1 plus delta into 1 minus nabla and this has to be proved equal to 1. Let us see how we can do this. We know that by our properties, what is this value? 1 plus delta. This is the value of E. Similarly, from the second property, we have seen that 1 minus nabla is the value of E inverse. So, clearly, left hand side is equal to E multiplied by E inverse and this gives the value 1. So simple. You just have to use the properties. You do not have to think of opening the brackets or writing the expressions. You must be thorough with your properties. Then it's only one or two seconds and you can solve any relation. You can prove any relation here. Moving on to our next relation. Left hand side. We, we are going to start with the left hand side only. This is equal to delta into nabla. Now since we do not have any particular relation for these two things. Right now we have not studied yet. So, we are going to convert them into the shift operator form. So, delta can be written as E minus 1 and what is nabla can be written as 1 minus E inverse. Next, what we are going to do is we shall open up the brackets and this value is going to be equal to E minus 1 minus 1 plus E inverse, right? And this value e minus 1 what is this equal to delta how come we have already proved the property that e is equal to 1 plus delta so we can say that e minus 1 is equal to delta all right this gives the value delta minus 1 minus e inverse and we also have the relation for this particular combination and this value is equal to 1 minus nabla we have already proved in the second property that nabla is equal to 1 minus e inverse so this is how we have proved our second relation now let us try to prove one more relation using these operators only this is nabla or backward difference operator equals e inverse into forward difference operator now how to prove this we already have a relation that e nabla is equal to nabla e and which is equal to delta if we are going to take these two parts of this particular relation what we can say 
that nabla is equal to E inverse delta. So what we have to do is if you know all the properties, it's just a rearrangement of operators and you can define or prove any relation using all these properties. So this was all for today's lecture. In the next lecture, we are going to study some more properties and prove them.